Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate taking the screenshots of a full page. So let's get started. In the previous sessions, we have taken the screenshots of a page that's only the visible page or a particular element, a particular section and so on. But we have not taken the screenshot of the entire page or full page. In this session, I'm going to show you that. For example, let me manually show you what I'm going to take the screenshot of. If I go to this application, that is omaya.blogspot.com application. If I simply take the screenshot in the normal way, it will only take the screenshot of this visible area. Okay, but it will not take the screenshot of this entire web page. This page is very lengthy, you see, from top to bottom. If I want to take the screenshot, the default method will not work. Okay, it will only take the screenshot of the visible area that you can see on this laptop or screen that I'm sharing now. Okay, if you want to take the screenshot of this entire page, that is full page, then we have to follow some process. What is that process? I'm going to explain. There are different steps you have to follow, guys. Okay, step by step, we have to follow. Okay, then only the taking of the screenshot of the full page is possible in Selenium Python. So what are, the, what are those steps? What are the things I have to do? Step by step. First step is we have to run in headless mode only. Okay. In order to take, take the screenshot of the entire page or full page, we have to run the script Selenium Python script in headless mode. In the previous session, I covered this. Okay. How to run the Chrome browser in headless mode. I previous session, I covered this. But uh, here we have this code. We will be using that code. I'll show you practically again. So here, if I have to run the script in headless mode, I have to create an object for the I have to write webdriver.chrome options. I have to create an object for the Chrome options and uh, create an object reference for this. I'll simply name that object reference as Chrome underscore options is equal to. Now I'll simply say Chrome options. Okay. Dot add argument. Okay. I need to set an argument for this Chrome options and double quotes give hyphen hyphen headless. Now this is not going to work unless you copy this object reference and provide this here by typing options is equal to now paste this Chrome options here. This object reference, you have to paste it here now. Options is equal to Chrome options like this. Now the Chrome browser will open and uh, the script will actually run in headless mode, Chrome headless mode. Okay. We will not be able to see anything on the screen. Okay. Chrome headless mode as covered in the previous session means when you're running all the scripts on the Chrome, normal Chrome browser, you'll be able to see what's happening on the screen. Like, you know, the browser opening up, browser maximizing, browser opening the application, everything you can visually see. But if I set this uh, headless mode option, you will not be able to see anything happening on the screen. Your complete automation script on this uh, machine is going to run in invisible mode in the background itself. No visual thing we can see on the screen. Okay, that's what is headless mode. So we are applying this headless mode in this session because without this headless mode, we cannot take the screenshot in the full page of screenshot of the full page. This is not possible. Okay, without you applying the headless mode, the taking of the screenshot of the full page is not at all possible. Okay, so. So first set it to the headless mode. After that, which application? The same application, omai.blogspot.com. I'll copy this and provide this URL here. Then what is the next step I have to follow here? After this, what is the next step? Set the window size to full page size. We have to set the window size to this full page size. For that, we need to find what is the height of this. What is the complete height of this page we have to find? Height and width of this pages we need to find. What is the width of this page? What is the complete height of this page we have to find. Then only we'll be able to take the screenshot of the full page. Okay. So dimensions of the full page we need. So mainly coming to the dimensions, it's very easy to find the width of this page. What is the width of this page? We can easily find how just go to the desktop or somewhere right click here in your machine, click on display settings. You'll get this uh, display settings here in a while. And here you can see the display resolution as 1920. 1920 okay this you cannot consider because this is only visible area whatever you are able to see on the screen is this uh, uh, 1080 but here page is not 1080 this page is more than 1080 right whatever the visible area is 1080 the coming to the height but width is same you see no matter how much you scroll the width is constant so we can consider this 1920 as a width and this cannot be the height the height is more okay more than 1080 the height is so how to get the height, how to get the height of this full page for that we need to find it. For that we need to run some JavaScript code using Selenium Python. We have to run some JavaScript code to find the height of the page, complete height of the page. 
So what is the JavaScript code? Here I'm highlighting the JavaScript code. Just see here, this part is the JavaScript code. And this JavaScript code, which will help us in finding the height of the page that we have to provide to this execute script command of Selenium Python. Execute script command, as I already covered in the previous session, will run the JavaScript code in Selenium Python, okay? So this is what is the funda. So here, there's a JavaScript code, guys, for finding the height of the page, okay? So fine, let's do it. Let's find the height of the page. Height and width is common. Now width is already clear. Width is equal to how much? 1920 already. We already know from this. Uh, from here, you come to know, right? What is width? Right click here and display settings. You are getting the width already. You see the width? 1920. I took the width already here. But I need to find the height. To find the height of that particular page, what I have to do is, I have to say driver dot execute script. I have to run some JavaScript code. In order to run the JavaScript code in Selenium Python, I have to use this command, which I already covered in the previous session, guys. You can refer to that previous sessions. Here, give double quotes and provide the JavaScript code using which we can find the height of the page, um, entire height of the full page. So, you see, this, this, I don't want to type it manually. Rather, I'll copy paste this one. But you will understand, return math, math dot max. It's going to return you the height, maximum height. By calculating the height from different uh, ways, it's finding what is the maximum height of all these things. It's taking and then it will it will consider the maximum height like that. Okay. So this is all the JavaScript code, guys. That is a you know document dot body dot scroll height. Okay. Offset height. Document element dot client height. Document element dot scroll height. Document element uh, dot offset height. So it will get the height in all the different ways. And out of all these heights that came using these statements, the math dot max will finalize the maximum height out of all this stuff. And it will return. It will return to the whatever that is calling, okay? So it will return the height of the page entirely, simple words. Okay, I'll copy this and come back here and paste the entire code here, okay? It may look a bit lengthy, but ignore that, okay? Fine, we got the width and we got the height of the entire page. Now what we have to do is we have to set the window size, okay? The next step is that here we have to set the window size. In Selenium Python, we already have the command to set the window size, right? The same window size we have to set. Otherwise, it will not be able to take the screenshot of the full page. There's no direct command in Selenium Python, guys. This is the only process. Uh, we have to go step by step. First, you have to run the, the Selenium script in Chrome headless mode. Then, you know, we have to set, uh, you need to set the window size to full page size, uh, the height and width of the, width and height of the page you have to provide. For getting the height, you have to run this JavaScript code. For width, you already know, right, how we got, okay? Uh, from your laptop, you can get it. 1920, and this should be the height. So let's set the window height, window size. So driver dot set window size, set window size. And here we have to provide, first we have to provide width, then we have to provide height. This is the width, comma, and what is the height? This is the height, provide both. After setting the window size with the full page width and height, then now what we have to do is, we have to take the screenshot of the body section of the page, okay? So there is a body tag. For example, this page, if I inspect here, if I inspect this and uh, there is a body, if you see, when I select this body, what's happening? This body tag, if I'm selecting, entire page is getting highlighted, you see? The entire page, the full page is getting highlighted. I have to locate this body tag, okay? And I have to locate that body section of the page. For that, I'll simply write down driver dot. It's very simple to find out the body section of the page. Find element by dot tag name. Which tag name? Body tag name, simple. Okay, body tag name of the HTML, HTML body tag name you provide here. Entire body section of the page will be highlighted, you see, located. Now, so I'll say page body, I'll say otherwise, okay? Now, now using this page body, I'll take a screenshot, page body dot, screenshot, that's it, okay? This command we have to take, entire section, okay? In the previous, one of the previous session I covered, right? How to take the screenshot of a page section, here, complete body section, we are taking the screenshot of the full page. This is the third step. Here, give the name of the screenshot, guys. Here, give the name of the, uh, let's say, full underscore page underscore screenshot dot PNG. Okay? PNG, like this you provide. And simply say driver dot pitch. Now, run the script and see whether, after running the script, whether it's able to take the full page screenshot with this full page screenshot name and PNG as extension. Let's see that. Run the script. After running the script, a screenshot file be, should be created with this name, full page screenshot under the project and with the extension PNG. 
You see, everything is running in the headless mode. You see, you are not able to see anything on the screen. We should see that output is completed here. Then only we can understand. You see, the script got executed. We got this process finished. Now see, there is a screenshot created here. Full page with the same name and extension. Full page screenshot. So, so right click or double click here. You see, the entire page screenshot has been taken. You can see that, right? From top to bottom of the entire page has been taken. I can also open this in, you know, in my local machine, in my machine by saying Explorer and open the screenshot. I can get the screenshot of the full page. The screenshot of the entire page has been taken. You see the screenshot of the entire web page from top to bottom, not only the visible area, but also till the from top to bottom, it has been taken. This is the process in Selenium Python using which we can take the screenshot of the entire page or full page. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.